Hello, everybody. This is Metal Rose, and this is Metal Rose's Heavy Metal History Corner. Here are a couple of cool things that happened this week in heavy metal history. I want to wish a very happy birthday to the lead singer and flute player of Jethro Tull, Ian Anderson, who was born on August 10th, 1947. I also want to wish a very happy birthday to the Guess Who bassist, Jim Kale. I also want to wish a very happy birthday to Richie Ramone, who was born on August 11th, 1957. On August 11th, 1973, KISS was signed to Casablanca Records. Also, on August 11th, 1999, KISS finally received their star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. On August 12th, 1998, Scott Weiland, the lead singer of Stone Temple Pilots, pled guilty to felony heroin possession and was sentenced to three months in a drug treatment facility. On August 12, 1977, ACDC made their chart debut with Let There Be Rock. On August 13, 1996, Van Halen drummer Alex Van Halen filed for divorce from his wife, Kelly. On August 13, 1999, Scott Weiland is back in the news and is sentenced to jail for violating his probation by continuing his illegal drug use. He had been receiving outpatient treatment for drug addiction, but in July, he received treatment at Daniel Freeman Hospital for an overdose on heroin. On August 13, 2004, guitarist Wes Borland rejoined Limp Bizkit. I want to wish a very happy birthday to drummer Tommy Allridge from the Ozzy Osbourne band White Snake in Black Oak, Arkansas, who was born on August 15, 1950. In sad news, on August 15, 1995, Motley Crue vocalist Vince Neil's four-year-old daughter, Skylar, died of multiple organ failure in Los Angeles. On August 16, 2010, Ozzy Osbourne appeared on Jimmy Kimmel Tonight doing the classic Crazy Train and closing out the show with the song Fearless. Well, that's all I have for you guys this week. Please visit my website at www.heavymetalrose.com and please visit my band's website at www.orbinot.com. See you all next week. Love you. Bye now.